so hey welcome back guys so this video is about static variable in C so there are lots of things you can do with the static variable and we'll try to cover everything in this video so please watch this video till the end to get the maximum benefit of it so the first and very most important thing is if you have declared a static variable in some function and you call that function multiple times then that variable will not get declared multiple times what I mean is so if we look at this function here we call this function three times here here and here and we are calling this function it is going here see notice this static integer var is equal to zero and then we are incrementing it and we are just simply returning that so here we should get one that is fine right but next time we are calling this function so this static will not allow this to happen because this is already created once it is created that time only allow this I mean this initialization after that it won't allow this so this is like skipped and the, it will directly go to here so what was the previous value it was 1 so now it will return 2 here after incrementing this and then similarly it will return 3 here we can run this see 1 2 and 3 so this is the first use case let's suppose you want to return let's say an array so generally what happens you create an array here and if you want to return it then you have to create dynamically otherwise you cannot return that right because then due to this scope thingy it will deallocate the memory once you go out of this scope but if it is I mean if array is declared static it will remain throughout the program running scope so once your program is closed then only that memory will get occupied I mean destroyed so the first one is defined only once in function and then whenever you call that function you already saw that it won't recreate that variable again and again second point is this static variable is actually residing in data segment for now you just remember this we will talk about this data segments and stack segments and other memory segments of program in some another video so for now you just remember this third point is they are initialized with zero I mean if you don't initialize them the default initialization is with zero and fourth one is it can only be initialized with constant literals what I mean by constant literals if you notice this I am initializing this with zero here right so the zero is also a constant I can initialize this with some variable but that variable should be constant I can initialize the static variable with some function but that function should be a constant expression function the value should be available at compile time and you know what I mean I don't know how many people do know that actually functions can be evaluated at compile time and they can return you the value at compile time itself we'll talk about those kind of functions a little later maybe in some different videos so the point is this should be initialized with constant literals and the last important point is this is really very important yeah actually this was asked to my friend in one of the interview and he could not implement this he was asked to actually return an array from one function to another function but that return should not be a dynamically created memory and he didn't know that this static variable can actually do this so this was about static variables in C you won't believe that there are some differences in C and C++ with the static variables so I would discuss that somewhere in some next videos so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care